The shadow command allows you to make shadows of either objects or defined areas. We're going to show you objects right now because that's what you use it for probably 85% of the time. A lot of times you want to make a shadow of a tree to make it look a little more realistic because it's very rare that you have a big tree in the yard and there is no shadow from that tree or shade. So first of all, you'll notice that the shadow command, which is right here, is grayed out. That's because I don't have the tree selected. So I'm going to click on the palm tree here, and now you see the shadow command is now highlighted. Now watch the tree as I click on the shadow command. It just created a shadow, a little offset from the tree itself. So I'm going to click off of the tree click on the shadow and bring it out here where you could see it. So there is the shadow. It's an exact duplicate of the tree. It's just made black and transparent. You can adjust the transparency by right clicking on the shadow and go in here to the transparency setting. Setting the number higher makes the shadow darker. So I'm going to type in 45 click OK and you see that the shadow is now darker. Now that's pretty much all there is to making the shadow but it's not complete so that's what the shadow command does it makes makes you a shadow to make it look realistic you'll need to lay this shadow down and I'll show you how to do that right now so I'm going to move it over to this side because I want the shadow to be going back over here on the grass and not the driveway so I'm going to go into the warp tool I'll click on horizontal just because it's faster to lay the shadow down that way I'll grab this handle here and I'm going to slant it off to the left and as you can see it looks like the shadow now is laying down on the ground so I'll click OK and I'll move that shadow back underneath the tree and as you can see it looks like the tree is casting a shadow on the grass now you should also know that you could set the shadows default settings under program defaults if you go over here to file and click on program defaults where it says default shadow here you can see those are the offset numbers which is how far the shadows offset from the object and the transparency as you saw was 25 if you find that say you want your shadows always to be darker because you find you're always setting them to 45 just change this number to 45 then click OK and it will always come up that way so let's make another shadow and you can see that the shadow is darker than it was before you can learn a little bit more about that by going and watching the training movie for program defaults now another way you'll be using shadows a lot is when you're creating walls a lot of times walls will have turns or bends in them for example this wall is going this way then it turns this way there is a shadow right here if I click on it and move it you'll see that there is a shadow that with the stair steps here if I delete that now you notice that the image doesn't look quite as realistic or 3d without having that shadow there the purpose of this video now is to show you how to make a shadow of a defined area because this is a defined area not an object so what you do is you select on the defined area and then you make a duplicate of it by going up here to duplicate and then just click anywhere on the screen so that you have that area up there right click to stop the duplication process and now you want to make a shadow of this defined area it asks me if I want to make it an object say no because when you make a shadow of an object you get a double one meaning you have the original object and the shadow so we'll just click shadow now you'll see that it made a shadow of that defined area and turned it into an object at the same time so now all you have to do is put it back into place so it's just a faster way to make a shadow because you could have gone in there and drawn all the way around here and defined it as an area and then make it a shadow yourself which you can do that too but this is just a shortcut faster way of doing it 